Hello everyone, today we are in Antib and uh, it's been two weeks since my last video so I hope you are all doing good. Today we're gonna spend a day here and uh, I really wanted to show you Antib because it's one of the most attractive and interesting place to visit on the coast. We are the first weekend of May and the weather is so beautiful. The season not starts yet, but there are already some tourists. I would not say a lot, but they are some. Look at this beautiful seaside area of the old town of Antibes. So you know that Antibes is located between Cannes and Nice. And you can come here easily by train or um, by car is also very convenient. And take your time to visit wow. Antibes because you will spend here a whole day. There's so much to see, the historical buildings, a charming old town, a traditional market, museum. So we're gonna show you everything in this video. The historical center of Antibes is still surrounded by the defensive stone ramparts. You see this? beautiful ramparts walls which is uh, also a like a beachfront promenade there are many different artists who lived uh, or stayed here and painted the town and its landscapes walking here you understand how they became fascinated by the extraordinary colors of the french riviera I'm saying that we are waiting reopening of uh, Musée Picasso, which is in uh, Grimaldi Castle. So we're gonna show you the visit of uh, this castle later on the video. But let's start from the beginning and uh, dive into the old town of Antibes. You will probably go inside the old town through this arch in the rampart wall. This is the main street where you will meet a crowd of tourists and uh, lots of restaurants. It's very festive uh, part, I would say, because the further you go, the less people you will meet. They spread uh, into the other beautiful streets of the old town. So this street filled with the little boutiques, uh, gourmand food shops, cafe and restaurants. We've met some tourists with the luggage checking in in a B&B. There are so many food on this street. Gelato, for example, the homemade uh, ice cream. You should try it. The old town of Antibes, La Vieille Ville d'Antibes, is very large, so you can get lost exploring it. And uh, it's uh, lunch time now, so there are lots of uh, people are having their lunch. And uh, the old town especially boosting during the market hours. This is why we stick with the others on the main street, because we want to visit an old local market, Marché Provençal. Otherwise, if you want to take uh, some air from the tourist crowd, you can go escape in the narrow streets like this one, for example. This uh, Provençal restaurant get my attention because it was decorated so nicely. We continue our walk um, by this main street because we don't want to miss a Provençal market, a Marché Provençal, because it's open only in the morning and now it's already lunchtime. So we have to hurry up. I have to say one thing about the old town of Antibes, that there is no stairs. You know that in on the French Riviera, the all histor most of the historical old town are uh, perched on the hill, so you have to climb lots of stairs. And here is no one stairs. <laughs> here we are uh, close to the little square, and uh, look what we found: a broken market. I couldn't believe. Everywhere uh, we go, 
we see a broken market. It start to be a tradition. It's true that uh, in the summertime you have a uh, lots of uh, broken markets everywhere on the French Riviera, and uh, I fall in love in this one because um, I saw many old furniture, not expensive at all. For example, for 30 euro for the chair, or um, for this yellow chair, 45 euro only. And uh, I was like, oh my god. But uh, Chris called me down. Uh, we didn't uh, came here for this, and uh, it's true. Today, uh, as you see, we don't have Matt with us. He's on a birthday party and uh, we have to pick him up at 6 p.m. So um, we are a bit limited by the time. And uh, Antip is uh, one hour from Gorbio, so we're gonna just pass this lovely broken market and um, continue our lovely walk. Otherwise, I already was thinking, if we will take this, we're gonna go back to the car and after the la 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 la. <laughs> so no. We're gonna go to the Marché Provençal now, but I will definitely come back here for this broken market next time. We passed this uh, small square and uh, now we are in two minutes from Marché Provençal. This street is uh, also full of uh, cafe and restaurants mixed with the shops selling local gifts and uh, bakeries. And here we are, near the Marché Provençal, finalement. On est arrivé. Alors, um, this uh, Marché Provençal is a traditional French covered market where uh, traders from all over Provence come to sell their fresh products. Look at this cheese. Mm. Looks so yummy. So you can uh, find here everything from fruits and vegetables, flowers, to cheese, olives and uh, charcuterie. There are also very beautiful stand with the uh, spices. You can also buy here a beautiful handmade uh, bag for uh, shopping. We arrived now uh, on the end, so they are Parking. Good to know that this market uh, during the season opens every day uh, from 7.30 a.m. till 1 p.m. I'm still happy that we could um, visit it even when they are closing. It's still so colorful and there are lots of delicious smells. And it's uh, quite a hard work for the traders. It's more quiet outside the market, but there are still some restaurants, so we decided to um, escape in one of the narrow streets and uh, to enjoy these pastel buildings with brightly painted shutters. The old town of uh, Vieille Ville d'Antibes looks like it hasn't changed much in centuries. You can observe the hidden details on the facades and doors. Smell the flowers. It's, it's really beautiful, right? very different from the main street it's very quiet and uh, beautiful and uh, peaceful among the old town streets you will find the baroque style cathedral which is just close to the Musée Picasso. It's a very beautiful cathedral with its uh, colored uh, Provençal Baroque uh, facade. This church 
has gone through many transformations over time with the latest uh, facade being uh, rebuilt in 18th century. I always love to go inside the cathedrals to take a quiet break and uh, enjoy the artworks inside. We back to the beachfront area and uh, just right behind of this cathedral you will find a beautiful beach. You know that Antibes is also known for its many beautiful sandy beaches. This beach calls Plage de la Gravette, located by the old town and accessed through an archway from the port and it's overlooked by the ramparts very beautiful beach so if you have to choose one on your day trip to Antibes choose this one we stroll along the ramparts till the very end and uh, you will find here a museum archeologique or Bastion Saint André uh, we didn't go inside uh, but uh, on the rooftop you have uh, some view with the another beach on another side on, of the Antibes and um, a beautiful view over the ramp, ramparts and um, old town of Antibes. We're returning now to the old town to visit uh, Musée Picasso and um, so this beautiful walk uh, overlooking the Bay des Anges, the Bay of uh, Angels with the, there's a beautiful uh, garden also, uh, Le Jardin des Poètes. And uh, yeah, you, you just have to take a time and uh, walk around and uh, enjoy the atmosphere here. It's wonderful. Here we are near the Musée Picasso uh, and uh, now we're gonna take a little line to go inside this museum is one of the most visited uh, sites in old town of Antibes and um, the entrance is only 8 uh, euro per adult and uh, we never visited before <laughs> imagine that uh, local people because I asked my colleagues as well they uh, didn't visit it either so um, but it was worth it it's yeah um, Picasso was uh, deeply inspired by Antibes uh, diverse landscapes and um, in fact uh, Chateau Grimaldi this uh, chateau uh, was home to Picasso for six months in 1946. So Picasso used uh, this chateau as an art studio for several months. He made uh, many great works, drawing and painting, that he donated uh, himself to the museum. And uh, in 1966, the building uh, turned into the Musée Picasso, the um, first ever museum dedicated to the artist and now open to visitors. Um, visitors today can see 254 works by Picasso as well as enjoy the beautiful building 
the castle's uh, terrace displays sculptures of uh, other artists and it has a beautiful view over the ramparts of the old town. After visiting all tourist sites and walking along the beachside, we were wondering, there is no viewpoint? Wait a minute, we found one. But first we're gonna relax a little bit and take a fresh cocktail because even we are first weekend of May, it's start to be hot. So we're gonna relax in this uh, bar restaurant something in the middle uh, and um, we will order a fresh drink we deserve it so here we're gonna share with you a secret of the viewpoint the Grand Roux just outside the um, old town, outside the uh, these uh, walls of the old town, you will find a Grand Roux. So take it, and you will see an incredible view over the old town and surroundings. I can say that this uh, Grand Roux located at the port marina uh, Vaubon and it costs only six euro per person and you will have a magnificent view over the port uh, Vaubon with its uh, most expensive super yachts in the world and uh, and uh, Fort Carré Look at this view. You see, you don't have a hill, but you have a Grand Roux <laughs> to make a viewpoint. It's really smart. From here, we see the Fort Carré. We didn't visit it today. Gonna be on another video. This is it for this video and um, thank you for watching us. We are sending you lots of love and sun from French Riviera. Bisous à tous et à bientôt.